All right, we're going to go down here, and now we're going to move down to Pennsylvania, and we're going to move over to Todd. Hi, Todd. How are you today? Hi. Hi, Joe. How may I help you, my friend? Uh, yes, yeah, so um, I was um, actually uh, committed adultery and um, married the woman that I committed adultery with mm -hmm. and uh, moved, changed my job, um, changed my whole life uh, to be with this woman. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been married since October now. Mm -hmm. And I'm really uh, feeling a lot of regret, um, yeah. a lot of guilt. Yeah. I actually read your book, uh, Getting Past Guilt. Mm -hmm. um, helped a lot. Of, I read another book um, by Rubel Shelley. Uh, it's a, a, um, Divorce and Remarriage, a Redemptive Theology. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I guess there's people that say I shouldn't get another divorce. Um, but part of me feels like, you know, I, I guess deep down inside, I feel like uh, this, sh you know, this shouldn't have happened. Mm -hmm. Um I shouldn't be in this relationship, but I shouldn't be married to this woman. Mm -hmm. um, she really loves me, and uh, she doesn't want me to go. And mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm going. I'm seeing a therapist right now myself um, to try to get through some of this. But I, I, when I saw the opportunity to ask you a direct question, I, I, I just, <laughs> I guess I, I wanted to take the opportunity to do okay. it. So. All righty. So you're feeling a tremendous amount of guilt, my friend. I'm, I'm so sorry for that pain, but that's what guilt does. Now, you see, you're asking me a question that's more theological than, than what we do here. And uh, when you say, should I divorce her and go back to the first? Back when I was a minister, which was back a long time ago. <coughs> Pardon me. I guess I, I cough when I'd say the word minister. Back when I was a minister many, many years ago, um, young minister, back in the late 1800s, I would have had one view of theology there. And, and now in my position, I have a different view of theology. Here's the general principle by which we work. Now, obviously you have to make your own decision. And if you've read Rubel's book, Dr. Shelley lives right here in Middle Tennessee. I'm sure you can find him one way or the other. He also teaches at Lipscomb University and uh, he doesn't teach there anymore. I'm sorry, Caroline, who is my brilliant assistant over here, says no, he doesn't teach there anymore. But you can find Rubel, and if not, if you can call our office down here and say, help me find Dr. Shelley, I'll see if I can find his email for you or something. You might want to talk to him if you want to talk theology. I mean, he's the theologian. When it comes to us, when it comes to us, here's the way it works. We tell people, we, we fight to help people save a marriage. That's what we do. Now, would I agree yeah. that, that you should not have ended the first marriage? Yes, I would agree with that wholeheartedly. Would I say that adultery is a bad thing to do? Yeah, I would agree with that wholeheartedly as well. I do. But, but now that you're married to the second person, the way we view it is, okay, now this is the marriage you work on now. That, yes, it started badly. You should, you know, other things should not have occurred, but they did occur. And now you're in this marriage, and okay. so do what you do to make, do whatever you need to do to make this marriage work. But see, that's our philosophy I'm not giving you theology. I'm giving you the way that this organization exists. If you want yeah. to look at it theologically, I strongly recommend finding Dr. Shelley. If, if you want to look at it that way, then that's a different thing than what we do here. But we couldn't, by, by the very uh, principles by which we operate, we could never help a person in one marriage to go to another marriage, even in a situation like yours. Okay. Does that make any sense to you at all, okay. my friend? I mean, yes. Okay. Yeah. And, and as far as the guilt is concerned, I do hope you find some way to get past that. You know, lots of us, Todd, have done some really crappy stuff. You know, I have. I certainly have. And that's why I wound up writing that book, Getting Past Guilt. When uh, Howard, yeah. Yeah, when, when Howard that's, that's published by Howard Books, which is a division of Simon & Schuster, when they first came to me years ago to write a book, they wanted me to write a book about spiritual warfare. And, and I said, I'm happy to write a book about spiritual warfare, but I want to write a book about guilt first because, because of all the things I've done in my life and, and finding the way to be forgiven and feel forgiven. Well, they did make me write the spiritual warfare book first, but so they just gave me a two book contract. And that was the second book, Getting Past Guilt. And I wrote that, my friend, for me so that I could find the scriptures and the healing and the hope so I wouldn't rest of my life be bogged down with guilt. And I do strongly recommend that you find a way to do that through God. Now, again, if you want to find Dr. Shelley and you can't email here and I'll get one of our folks to find out how to get him and, I'll, and we'll email that back to you. Okay. 
Yeah, thank you so much. And uh, again, I, that that book has helped me a lot. The Getting Past Guilt book. I would recommend Good. anybody read that. That that's definitely. Uh, I appreciate your um, yeah, just uh, your vulnerability and uh, mm-hmm. and just sharing uh, your story in that book and then everything else with it. Um, so yeah, that's definitely helped me a lot. Well, thank you, Todd. That means a lot to me. It means a whole lot to me. All right, my friend, you take care. The book, Getting Past Guilt, if you guys are interested, you can find all of my books on Amazon. Uh, of course, you can always call here at Marriage Helper. And we'll go ahead and give our 800 number up here on the screen. Our uh, 866 number, it is not 800 numbers anymore, 866-903-0990. And if you're having a problem with your marriage then and, and you haven't talked to anybody here yet, you call that number, 866-903-0990. And, and tell whoever answers the phone, we have a whole lot of people here, and they'll get you to one of our client representatives. And he or she will be able to listen to understand enough of your situation to refer you to whatever resource we have that can be of assistance to you. Now, it's not a hotline. It's not like you're going to call and talk to a counselor. That's not the way it works. The client representatives will listen enough to understand, and then they'll help you understand what products we have, if any, that will help you, or what services we have, if any, that will help you with that. Now, they're not going to twist your arm to try to get you to do anything, but they are going to try to get you the best resources available to help you with whatever you're facing. 